Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced from alexmercedcoder.dev and in this video, uh, we're going to continue on learning more about React. Now in the last few videos, we learned about the foundational pieces of React uh, using just basically a straight up HTML file with a few script tags that allowed us to work with React in a very simple setup. Okay. Now the thing is that when you're starting doing larger and larger projects, trying to put all your components in one JavaScript file or a few JavaScript files can get really messy really quickly. So typically what you want to do is you want to be able to kind of break up all your code into lots of files. Really, at the end of the day, give each component their own file. Um, and there's a bunch of other things you may want to do, like minify your code and include other types of files. And there's a lot of sort of steps that kind of go into building sort of a production build. So there are templates with React, and you'll find this with all the frameworks that have a lot of that stuff already built in and set up for you. Okay, now the one that Facebook creates is called Create React App, which uses Webpack as its build tool. Okay, in recent years, a newer build tool has really sort of taken the world by fire by the name of Vite. Okay, and Vite has sort of become sort of like the new standard. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to create, so you could create a um, project using create react app. Okay, so actually, I'll add that here in this markdown. Okay. So again, the the standard created by Facebook is create react app. Okay, they generally going to fulfill the same role of just being able to allow you to create a more robust application with a more robust setup. Okay, and again, if you wanted to use create react app, Okay, essentially it would be npx create react app, and then you'd put in the sort of the, the name of your project. Okay, so you say like npm create react app cheese app or something. Okay, but we're going to use Vite, okay, because Vite one is faster than Webpack, uh, embraces ES modules, has a lot of benefits to it. Okay, but it's also something you should just generally get more familiar with. It's become the bigger and bigger part of a lot of modern front end development. Okay, so for that, we use this command, okay, to create a new Vite project. But again, the classic create React app is just that command. Either way, you're going to end up with a new React project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a terminal. And there we go. And I'm going to do npm create Vite. And I'm going to do at latest to make sure that I'm using the latest version of Vite. Okay, so I do that. It's going to ask me to, you know, download the latest version. I'm going to say yes, go for it. And now it's going to ask me for a name. So we're going to call this like React 2024 because it's part of our React 2024 lesson. Okay, cool. Now you can choose what kind of framework. So they have a Vite template for pretty much all the main frameworks. We want to do React. Okay, I'm going to do this without TypeScript. We may build another one with TypeScript later on in this uh, in the series, but for now, we'll, we'll keep it to JavaScript. Okay, and yeah, there it is. Okay, so you see here, we now have our new React 2024 project. So I'm going to CD into that folder. So yeah, React 2024. Okay, then I'm going to do an npm install to install my dependencies. Okay, so I can open up this folder so you can see what we have in there. Okay, so we have all this stuff. Okay, and just to kind of give you a quick tour of what you see in here, is you have a Vite config. This is what con configs Vite, the build tool, on how to handle things, okay? Uh, generally, you don't need to touch this. Okay, README, this is just gonna give you a breakdown. Oh, well, that's pass back to that, Jason. Read me. it'll just, pro usually a readme in any repository will just kind of give you some quick access to learn more about what you're doing. So in this case, just has you, gives you a link so you can read more about uh, the tools that are used to put this together. Package.json, we can see all the different dependencies of this particular template right here and any scripts. So here we see we have a dev script, a build script, etc. Okay, so really what's going to be important here is going to be this dev script. That's how we're going to be able to test this out while we're building it. And then when we're done, this is what builds your production build. It builds the actual HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files that we would actually deploy. Okay. And then here's the index.html. As you can see, there's the div ID of root. So instead of an ID of React like we did in previous times, it's an ID of root. But if I go to the if I go to the source code, so, so all really all the work you would do is going to be in the source folder, okay. And if I go to the main.jsx here, okay, you're going to see 
that what we did in the previous video where we created a root okay we passed it a node and then we ran the render function to render our initial jsx which in this case is the app component okay which is going to be in this file app.jsx so going forward every component is going to have its own file as you can see there's already a bunch of stuff in here okay and uh yeah we're good to go so uh that's essentially what you, you have in here um and we'll play with it for more from there so to run this you do npm run dev that'll kickstart the development mode okay so it's running and i see it says like hey it's now running on localhost 5173 so i can go open up a new browser tab go to localhost 5173 and there's our react template okay and again if you click on here we can click on the count and we can see it's counting okay using state okay if we look here see there's that use state you know creating that count variable and using the set count function and if you see here every time you click the button it's going to update the count just like we discussed in the previous video and so forth okay cool so um that is essentially the setup of how you set up one of these there's lots of different templates for react like this so the this Vite one and create react app are probably the most well-known ones of these sort of purely client side or purely front end ones later on we'll explore the bigger frameworks that bring react to the back end which are particularly uh next js and remix but that'll be further down once we learn more about just the core react tools so i'll see you in the next video have a great one and enjoy